I'm going to show you how to add a site to Voronoi diagrams, and I'm going to show you about this nearest neighbor approximation or interpolation. So we'll start with the nearest neighbor. It's actually really quite simple. Uh, so if we see some values attached to the site, so instead of just location of each of these sites, what if we made it like some kind of function? So in other words, each of these means some number. I've seen them called rainfall. I thought, well, since I'm Canadian, I would call it snowfall. It doesn't matter, right? But the idea is whatever values there are. So let's say this one is attached to a value of nine centimeters of snowfall. So what that would mean is that anyone in this region, then we're going to use the nearest neighbor interpolation and say, anyone who lives anywhere in this then will have received nine centimeters of snowfall. And anyone over here, since this is their nearest neighbor, that's going to be three centimeters. And over here, anyone who lives here got four centimeters, at least if we're trying to estimate. So then that becomes extremely simple. If you look at this question, and we're trying to find the snowfall at point A. Well, A is nearest to that one, isn't it? Therefore, it's just nine centimeters. Boom, you're done. That's it. So I put this meanwhile in Canada. <laughs> it's never that bad. I've never seen it that bad, at least. So here we go. Uh, nine centimeters. Pretty easy, right? So if you have some value somewhere, everybody who lives in that cell has that same value as that site. Remember, the site is sort of the like the capital city of that area. All right. Let's do how to add a site. I've seen textbooks and uh, instructions. They're very, very complicated to understand. I thought a video is a great place to show you, uh, a great way to show you how to do this. So you need to know how to be able to add a site to an existing Voronoi diagram. So the idea would be, pretend this red one isn't there. Let's just pretend so if it's not there, this would be the Voronoi diagram. It would look like this, all these black ones with all the black lines. That's the Voronoi diagram for that one. Do you notice this? point and this point, you notice this is the perpendicular bisector there. From here to here, look, that's that one. Here to here, that's that one. Here to here. What if we say, ah, we want to add a new site? Boom. Well, now we've got to draw a new Voronoi diagram because you can't have the two sites in the same place. You have to have some lines. So how do you actually do it? I figured I would just give you some instructions and see how it goes here. So this is going to be our goal. Find the closest site and draw a perpendicular bisector up to the edge. What do I mean here? Well, here's the point I want to add. All right, this is my new site. So what's the closest site to it? Closest site to it is this one. So I'm going to draw a perpendicular bisector of that one. Okay, so I'm going to just attempt. Keep in mind it's not going to be perfect, but I'll try to eyeball it. Sort of. I need something that goes, this one goes like this. So bisector goes through the middle, and perpendicular means it's 90 degrees. So something like, something like that. Now, I said to go all the way sort of up to the edge. Do you notice I said go up to the edge here? So what that means is you go up to here and you stop here. Do you see we've done the first step now? The first step is done. Now we're supposed to find the next closest site and repeat step one. So what does that mean? Well, now that we're here, do you notice we need to account for this site and this site. So let's think about the perpendicular bisector between those two and draw something. So it starts from here. And do you see perpendicular to these? Well, if these go this way, perpendicular will go that way. Does that make sense? Perpendicular will be the, only look at these two points now. Okay, so only these two points right here exist in my world right now. I'm ignoring everything else. Only looking at these two points, halfway between them. Well, that must be here. And then perpendicular to that must be like this. So I'm going to draw another one up to an edge. So let me attempt to do that. So watch carefully. So between these two, I don't know, something like that maybe? Do you see that's about 90 degrees to this one? This line right here is about 90 degrees that way. And then I do the same thing. I keep going until I complete it. So now, okay, I've done from this one to here. I've done this one to here. I've got to do from this one to here. Does that make sense? So I'm going to attempt to sort of eyeball this perpendicular bisector again. So from here, perpendicular to that would be like this. So something like that. So do you notice I'm going to try to draw it here? I'm going to attempt to draw it. And it'll start from here, which is kind of nice. So I don't know, let's say, does that look about right? I'm trying to just sort of turn my head sideways and trying to get, I don't know, something like that. Because it's, this is this one, it's about 90 degrees. So you notice I go out to an edge, then I do this, I go out to the next edge. I go like this, and then I just continue. And it, and it keeps going, it, it continues from where you just were. So again, just to remind you then, so what did I do? I first go this way, boom, to this edge, then I look at the next perpendicular one, and I go to the next edge that I reach. Boom. And after that, I do the next one. The problem is there's no edges, so I just keep going forever. 
Now, and what I would do, so this is, by the way, that's my new site. Now, this is a new Voronoi diagram. I would just, if I had a pencil to do this, I would actually, you know, erase these extra lines. So do you see these, these black lines that are in the middle here? I would, I would erase these. I would erase this. I would erase this. I would erase this. So I'll say erase. Boom. Then we're done. So does that make any sense here? This is... It's a little bit sneaky, you just have to take your time. I've got an example, uh, I think below this video here, hopefully you can see that one, at least if you're on Study Nova, you can see those. But just take a look at this. It's. I think if you follow these steps, you'll be okay. But that's sort of the key, is to add a new Voronoi diagram. Of course, you could always just go to this you know, GeoGebra and do it like that, but I mean, you're expected on an exam to do it by hand. So there you go. Luckily, that's it, we're done.